Hello, it's Adam Duncan here. Hello everyone, so in today's video we continue the hunt for a smoked peated whiskey for my collection. And today we are moving on to the Aran. This is the 18 year old, it is 46% uh, alcohol and it costs around 700 Danish crowns for a 70 centiliters. That translates into around was well, 70 English pounds and maybe 85 American dollars, something like that. So um, I think I've said in one of my previous videos that this one was from the island of Isla and that is not correct. This is from the island of Aran. This is actually an, actually an, uh, an island called this and um, in 1836 uh, the last legal distillery was closed on this island and there wasn't a legal distillery on this island all the way up to 1995. So in that regard this is actually a quite exciting island in my opinion anyway. So I'm um, really looking forward to this one. It's 18 years old as I said and well just looking forward to tasting it. Um, there's no sponsored content in this video, just to get that out of the way. And as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. So let's get into this, to the tasting of this. Oh yeah, and this is uh, the original color. Nothing has been done to make this darker or lighter. So um, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the barrel. Uh, just to compare it, I have the Lafroy here, which is uh, so far the one that I will be buying. Uh, remember to leave a comment down below if you have um, suggestions on um, on smoked whiskeys that I should try. Um, yeah, other than that, this is the last smoked whiskey that I'm going to be tasting this week. Uh, Friday and Saturday, I will be moving on to Speyside whiskeys. Not as smoked as I would expect, at least not in the bottle. Just compare it here with the Lafroy, which is a lot more smoked, uh, smoky and peaty in, the, in, in this bottle, but we're gonna pour it in the glass to kind of get the right idea and the right aromas to uh, release. So uh, I won't be drinking all of it, just around one and a half to two centiliters. Close the bottle so I don't spill these beautiful drops. Yeah, so there you have the whiskey, looking pretty good. It's not that it that it's a bad aroma or nose, it's just no way as smoked as I would, as I would expect. It's actually more sweet. I wonder if this had, has been aged in uh, sherry barrels as the one yesterday, the Bowmore. I don't know if it has. I've, I've not read about it. Sweetness, vanilla, maybe some honey. And actually almost no smoke. That's quite weird. If you have Campbellton here, you have the island of Isle over here, and then you have the island of Aran on the other side of Campbellton. So just to give you an idea of where this island is. Now for the taste. Cheers guys. It's very sharp. It's too sharp for my taste. And it has some, there's no smoke at all. I'm not getting any smoke, some sweetness, some kind of fruit, maybe apples. I think it's apples, some kind of apple and wood. 
but no smoke, no peatiness, nothing like that. That's really weird because it is an island. So, not what I expected, which is a nice thing because I do like to taste stuff that uh, that that's different and from what I what I would think it was. So, and it's not bad. It's just quite sharp in the in 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 the beginning at the palate and um it's it's quite nice but it's not smoked so It has a nice taste, but I like the whiskeys and other drinks that I drink to be really smooth and really well-rounded, but with a lot of depth and complexity to it. This is too sharp, and um, it seems like, even though it's 18-year-old, to me it seems young in, some, in, in a way, and maybe that's because... The distillery didn't open until 1995. Maybe they hasn't. They they're not quite ready to make a uh, really complex whiskey like some of the others who are more than 200 years old. Um, for example, this Lafroy, uh, 18, um, 15, 18, and this is just this one. So. It's not bad, it's just that it's not what I'm looking for, and um, it's not really what I what I like the most about whiskey, so. Yeah, like I said, no smoke, sharp, a little bit of sweetness. There's no warmth to it or no kick or anything like that. But the the it's really sharp in the in the palate. And then comes a little bit of fruit, and I think it's apple and maybe some dried fruits. And then um wood at the end, at the finish. So that's it, guys. That's how it how this whiskey tastes for me. I will be putting it at six because it's not bad, but it's not my kind of whiskey and it's not what I'm looking for so a 6 out of 10 for the Aran 18 year old single malt um, there you have it guys uh, thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like this video just give it a thumbs down that's okay please comment any comments I will respond to uh, whatever you write down there you will I will respond to please uh, please uh, suggest a smoked whiskey that's a, that I should try. Uh, that would also mean a lot to me. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Please do so. Please check out my Instagram. Uh, it's stonegun underscore. And just look at the pictures. Look at the small video clips. There's a lot of different stuff. Both workout, uh, liquor, beers, and beard stuff. Um, give me a follow there if you like what you see. So uh, that would really mean a lot. Help me out grow as a channel and as an Instagrammer. So uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, make sure to tune in uh, this upcoming Friday and Saturday where I will be looking at the Ben Riak and the Glen Fockless, Speyside whiskeys from the Highlands of Scotland. Thank you. Bye.